Today, our 2024 class of high school students and teachers is working here at the National Archives. Uh, they've all identified a soldier from their uh, hometown or region uh, who died in the Normandy campaign in June of 1944 and is buried at the Normandy American Cemetery uh, at Omaha Beach. And so they've all, with help of college mentors, identified records to look at. And so this is a real thrill for them to look at real primary sources from World War II. We've had the honor of researching a one private Otis Still, who was a member of the 149th Engineers Combat Battalion. They've been doing research since January, but this is the first time they've had an opportunity to use real primary source material about the military record of their soldier, and so it's very exciting for them. They're going to produce two things from this. One is a, a written biography. Um, the other is a, a eulogy, which they will present standing next to the soldier's um, grave, or sailor in this case, grave in, in the Normandy Cemetery. Tomorrow, we will lay a wreath at the Tomb of the Unknowns in Arlington Cemetery. Then Sunday, we fly to France and head straight for Normandy. I feel like it's extremely cool to be able to hold the pictures or the papers that we see in pictures all the time and just be able to recognize, honestly, the handwriting super cool to me. Every single soldier, you can just imagine them when they're in, in times of war. I don't think I'd be able to experience if I wasn't with the Institute and if the National Archives wasn't around, it'd be extremely hard to preserve all these amazing, important pieces of history. Wow, what a blessing to be able to use the National Archives to research our soldier, right? And to be able to put our hands on these pieces of history. And it's a little emotional going through these because you're talking about human beings. So when we go to Normandy, France, in another week we will be visiting the cemetery there and we will give a eulogy of James Knight to honor him at his grave.